Today, we're going to be talking about a very serious topic, my mobile gaming addiction. Now, you might be thinking, Omniarch, what, what are you talking about? I'll tell you what I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about Rise of Kingdoms. Today is my 1,000th consecutive login day. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I have looked at this pixelated city for 1000 days in a row i it's it's got to be an addiction right like it's a it camp this is not normal let's just be clear okay this is not a normal behavior for regular people i mean a thousand days that's like almost three years of my life i've been looking at this freaking game so today i figured it's about time that i tell my story about rise of kingdoms why i started playing this game why i've continued playing this game how much money i've spent and later in the video we're gonna celebrate by crafting my first ever legendary accessory the concealed dagger yes i actually don't have any legendary accessories so make sure you stick around until then and we also will probably be expertising isun sin in this video he is uh he's one of the commanders i've been working on for a long time we've got more than enough commander sculptures to expertise him and finally we're going to be spinning the wheel of fortune for Chuk Jung Un, I don't, is that his name? We're doing a lot in this video, okay? There's a lot going on. This is a recap, this is a celebration, this is an important moment. But before we jump in, about 80% of you guys are not subbed to the channel, go ahead and click that button. And without further ado, let's just jump into it. So this is where it all began in Kingdom 1062 on October 24th, 2018. The Omniarch account was created because lots of my coworkers were playing playing this brand new game in the break room called rise of kingdoms now of course this game came out a little bit before october so it wasn't like the official launch day but for like two weeks i noticed that a lot of my co-workers were playing this game and i was curious as to what it was and i found out that my co-workers actually had an alliance here in kingdom 1062 i don't even remember what the original alliance was i'm pretty sure the emblem was rox i believe it was rise of excellence I wasn't the leader. I wasn't involved as an R4 or anything. It was just kind of cool to see a bunch of my coworkers, literally like, like probably 20 of us or more, uh, we're all in this alliance together. And anytime we were on breaks, we were playing the game together. It was great. You know, there weren't, I think Richard and Lee Song Ye were like the only uh, new commanders in the game. And we were playing, we were having fun. Uh, back then, everyone thought Cao Cao was like the best commander because there weren't that many commanders to sort of pick from. So really, that's kind of where uh, I was sort of got the idea to expertise at Cao Cao back in the day. That was a huge mistake. Now, I was hesitant to play Rise of Kingdoms because I was all already addicted to a mobile game that you might have heard of called Clash Royale. At that time, I had already invested maybe about $100 in Clash Royale, and at that time, I thought that was a lot of money for a mobile game, and I was pushing the ladder in Clash Royale, and I was just starting to, to you know, touch that competitive level, like the actual, like, top-tier gameplay uh, of Clash Royale, and so I started playing Rise of Kingdoms, and pretty quickly, uh, I became much more into this game than Clash Royale, and I think it was because uh, mostly of the social aspect of this game, right? I had like one or two friends playing uh, Clash Royale, but that was really just a game I played for myself because it was just fun, okay? It was just a fun game, and honestly, I haven't played it in years. If you guys want to see that type of content, I can jump back into that game and sort of give you guys uh, an overview from someone who hasn't played in years, but I started playing Rise of Kingdoms. I was logging in every single day, and I haven't missed a day since and the moment i realized that this game was one that i would be playing for a while was when a civil war broke out in kingdom 1062 now this is a kingdom at, at the beginning that was i would say uh, uh, mostly english speakers and russian speakers i don't know what the breakdown was maybe it was 50 50 maybe it was you know 60 40. there was a lot of english speakers and there was a, a nice solid chunk of russian speakers as well and there was a player uh in this kingdom by the name of super mozio and you guys you know maybe some of you watching this may know that player's name because for a long time he was one of the top 10 i'm pretty sure if i'm not mistaken he was one of the top 10 players for a while in terms of power and you know at that time i think he had like a hundred and 20 or 160 million power when this civil war broke out you guys got to keep in mind this was again in probably november or 
something or december of that year uh this was before kvk was even a thing in fact this was actually uh maybe like a month or two before kvk actually came into the game which was terrible timing uh in hindsight but we obviously had no idea but uh anyway it was sort of like the the russian alliance was against the rest of the server and you know that doesn't sound like a very fair matchup except for the fact that they had this player that had over 100 million power uh just a couple of months after the game launched like literally Literally like four or five months after the game came out this guy was you know at a power level that you know has never even been heard of before like 150 million power is an insane amount of power even for today years later right so you can imagine back then uh, he pretty much had you know all the gold key commanders expertise Barka, minamoto uh richard all that stuff right so i realized that i would be playing this game for a while when the civil war started and it was sort of like keep track of this mega player right we as a kingdom had to keep track of him because everybody remember like this game was only a two months old right think about how weak you are when you're a two three months into the game right you're only a couple hundred thousand power maybe and then there's this 150 million power player going around just burning everybody and so it was like this sort of exhilarating feeling of like oh my god like you know some of my friends when they went to sleep like their their cities got burned down and then we would like take revenge and we would you know obviously we couldn't attack uh super mosey but you know we could attack some other players and and sort of gang up together and uh it was just a lot of fun right it was a lot of fun you know uh, it was it was an addicting experience of just like oh my god you know we're under attack and and we have to work together to sort of protect each other and i don't know it was just an experience that i had never had before in a game like this fast forward till today i am in kingdom 1568 and i'm pretty sure there's only like two or three of my co-workers who still play this game right i know one of them for sure uh, and then i think there's maybe two of them that log in every once in a while just to check in and see how the game is doing and you know you know see look look at their account and, and you know check out the new content basically right um and so there's a there's a handful of people but but what kept me playing the game uh was the friends that i met along the way and i know that sounds like so lame like bro that's just disgust like bleh, that's just nauseatingly corny right uh, but it's true right it's true um being a part of the community of rise of kingdoms and making friends is really the what keeps people engaged with these games right it's the community because lilith has made countless mistakes over the the last 1000 days that i've been playing this game and that's just true it's just objectively true right like they're not perfect no game developer is perfect uh and what kept me around was the community i no longer play with anybody that uh and, and any of my co-workers i think the couple that do still play are in different servers we've so all sort of found our own little niche but for like the first year and a half i didn't really spend anything in the game i think i spent maybe like 150 dollars or 200 dollars which i know sounds like a lot if you've never played a mobile game like this before uh but for the for that amount of time um that was basically like i was free to play like it's just the, it was such a small amount uh, of, of spend um and when i first started unlocking tier 5 units that is when the spending began in rise of kingdoms hardcore now i made a video a couple of months ago around the 800 day mark talking about how much i've spent in the game and it was around four thousand dollars at that point we are 200 days later it's probably around five thousand at this point and if you've never played a mobile game like this before or maybe you have maybe that sounds insane and you know what it probably is right it probably is and i think there's a whole discussion to be uh to be made or, or to be had about the addictive nature like legitimately i'm not using that as like a buzzword like the actually like the actual addictive nature of these games right there is so many tactics that game developers use especially in mobile games that really provide such a huge incentive for you to just spend a couple of more dollars and you'll get this advantage and just a little bit more than that and you'll get this new thing and then oh there's this brand new shiny thing that you can get and, and it's not that far out of reach it's just a few dollars away right and next thing you know you've spent five grand and uh and, and i know like that sounds like a leap but really that's how it happens it's it's sort of like the death by a thousand cuts right it's three dollars every day that's that's really what it is four dollars a day for a thousand days and that's and that's how they get you and uh it, it's a and it's effective 
it's an effective strategy uh, but really it only works if the core gameplay is actually fun right that's really what it comes down to uh, you know some people can just play a slot machine all day uh, and I've I've you know I've only gambled a handful of times in my life and I think slot machines you know they're, they're fun right they are fun but rise of kingdoms is genuinely a, a solid strategy game like it's just actually a good war strategy game it has tons of components that I actually love now just to rewind a little bit right I started spending right around the time that I unlocked tier five units because that's when I realized that tier five units doesn't make you a good player right and and the whole early game uh the first like year year and a half of me playing was just me trying to get to tier five with the least amount of spending money as possible right that was pretty much my goal uh and when I finally got there I realized that tier five units are insanely expensive to heal uh and I'm, I don't have that many of them because I don't have that many resources or speed ups and I also haven't really been focusing on commanders the entire time there I skipped uh, you know, I skipped Saladin, I skipped Alexander, I skipped all these commanders uh, just because I was focusing all of my gems and all of my speed ups on getting tier five uh, and sort of ignoring all the commanders along the way. And that's when the spending kind of started, right? And that's also a little bit before I started making my first YouTube videos. Now, for those of you who have only ever known this channel as a Rise of Kingdoms channel, uh, I used to post Call of Duty content for like five years on this YouTube channel. And it got me pretty much nowhere, right? And it's because I didn't really know what I was doing with YouTube. The content wasn't that great. The market was incredibly saturated and it is what it is, right? It is what it is. It's Call of Duty. It's a triple A title. Everyone wants to make content about it. Uh, but you know, I randomly one day decided to make a beginner's guide for Rise of Kingdoms. And to this day, that is still the second most watched video on this YouTube channel. Uh, it's soon to be surpassed by I most likely the the uh, Rise of Kingdoms ad video that I made and I'll probably make a part two because you guys seem to like that a lot. But I was just so invested in this game and I'm like, you know, I, I really am not enjoying Call of Duty, but I've been playing Rise of Kingdoms all this time and I play it every single day and I really love the game, you know, so I was like, I'm just going to make content for Rise of Kingdoms. And I had thought about making content months and months before then, but I thought, uh, you know, there's already sponsored content creators like, you know, like Chiskel and at that time, Gecko and Roni and Shinchi, right? So there was already a nice established base of content creators for the game. And I figured, you know, I don't really have much more to offer than that. Uh, so after a few months, I did, you know, I just like, there's, I've got nothing to lose, right? I've got nothing to lose by just making a beginner's guide and just throwing it out there. Uh, and it ended up doing really well for my channel. And I kept going, right? I kept making content for this game, just anything I could think of, any, any topic that I wanted to talk about, anything I could throw my two cents in on. And to this day, I don't know why people watch. <laughs> I don't know why people decided to watch my Rise of Kingdoms content when I feel like there's already so many good Rise of Kingdoms videos out there and, and content creators. Like, I don't know. It, it just, it just, people just started watching it. And obviously, you know, I don't have the biggest Rise of Kingdoms channel. I'm not, maybe I'm like the fifth big, biggest or fourth. I don't even know. There's not that many of us, right? But um, I don't know. It just, it just clicked. And I think really the 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 reason from in hindsight right is that rise of kingdoms is has been downloaded over 60 million times and there's only 12 people making content about it right like that's really what it is it's just massive demand and no supply uh no matter whether or not the topic has already been talked about right so i think that's what happened and around that time so i got t5 i started making content that's when the spending started picking up and here we are a thousand days later five grand in the hole luckily for me my spending and the earning from this youtube channel has sort of matched up uh and at this point i don't spend as much as you know i did a couple months ago so i don't feel too bad about the amount that i've spent on the game and of course many people have spent way more than that as well and also this is sort of and this kind of enters in that realm of yes the game is addicting but also also, uh, Rise of Kingdoms is for the past like year and a half or two years has been one of the main forms of entertainment for me personally, right? It's a game that I can play on my phone when I go to work, when I do anything outside, I can check in, I can play it. Uh, and also, you know, I don't, I don't pay for a Netflix subscription. I don't pay for a Hulu subscription. I don't pay for an Apple music subscription or an Apple arcade subscription. I don't pay to go to the movies. I like that. I, 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 this is really one of the a few forms of entertainment that I really do partake in. And so the amount that I spend on it is that's sort of how I justify it. It's like, this is, this is what I like to do. Like, this is what's fun 
for me. And clearly, you know, I've done it for a thousand days in a row. So, you know, if it's valuable to you, that's sort of, you know, you decide how much the entertainment is worth. And to me, I've spent sort of what I think it's worth. And again, luckily, um, the YouTube channel kind of justified it at this point, which is really nice. And I definitely I'm lucky about that so thank you guys if you've ever watched one of, my, one of my videos clearly if you've gotten this far in this one then thank you thank you thank you and that's my story on how i got here why don't we go ahead and forge something in the blacksmith the concealed dagger this has been burning a hole in my pocket man i've wanted to craft this forever um i wasn't going to craft it because they announced the change coming to the equipment system but as it turns out uh the change isn't really going to affect anything in terms of should you or should you not craft it's basically going to pick up where you left off so let's do it ladies and gentlemen we're going to quick forge the concealed dagger i uh i really hope we get the special talent here i really hope we do um so please drop a thumbs up on the video and 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 subscribe and maybe we'll actually get a special talent so let's go ahead and do it Whew, that is expensive that is expensive boys and girls can we get a special talented concealed dagger let's press forge in three two one oh my god my heart is broken it's broken it's my 1000th day lilith it's my 1000th day the rise of kingdoms gods just couldn't shine their light on me they couldn't they couldn't give me what i wanted they just couldn't do it let's go ahead and equip our concealed dagger uh it's gonna mainly be for zenobia when she is in a garrison that's really what it's for uh, but I think, who should we put it on now? I think we can put it on our Guan Yu. It's not the best choice, and honestly, it is what it is. Um, I'm just putting it on here because he's got the other good equipment. And uh, yeah, forge five pieces of legendary quality equipment. Look at these pathetic rewards. Absolutely, it's this is an embarrassment. This is actually insulting. This is actually insulting. Five pieces of legendary equipment, and I get 90,000 resources. No gold, by the way. No gold absolutely disgusting lilith you need to go in here and increase these rewards a hundredfold uh to make it even realistic right or give me something cool right give me like a freaking achievement or something i don't know let's go ahead and claim that oh who thank god we get 35k of each for the next legendary equipment we get let's see what else can we forge uh do we even have any materials left that's the real question do we have materials left i think the next thing we forge is the silent trial right I think we forge a second silent trial that's gotta be it i can't think of anything else that would be better than that let's do it in three two one oh my god i'm oh for two on my 1000 day it's my one i figured at least one of these i could get hyped on man but it's just not gonna be it's just not meant to be my equipment on guan it makes him so powerful as a 5255 five, that he actually outranks all these other expertise legendaries that's so that's amazing which you know it's crazy zenobia is up here without any equipment but uh and harold has no equipment either absolutely nuts but anyway let's go in and we are going to expertise isun sin why is that you might be saying amirk who cares that it's your thousandth day why are you spending all these resources well we're registered baby we are registered for march of the ages the season of conquest this starts in one day one hour and 20 minutes so we're going into kvk baby we are going into kvk a brand new kvk and i want to be absolutely decked out so my zenobia's expertise it's all it only makes sense that we expertise isun sin is he gonna stay a good investment for a long time i don't know he's been a good investment for a while so let's just go ahead and do it why why think about it when you could just go ahead and do it right so let's let's go ahead and uh and uh well let's 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 finish these first three all right let's finish these first three let's use our universal sculptures boom there's one let's go ahead and do it again and you might be thinking omniarch what about the wheel of fortune you're not going to spin the wheel for Isun sin again uh the thing about that is i'm going to spin for trajan probably so um i'm not losing out on that value for that wheel either so nothing to worry about there let's go ahead and uh put some more on my guy we are five four four one let's go ahead and do it man this hurts Ooh, this is so many sculptures boys this is so many sculptures but i gotta do it i'm committed to it it is what it is 
we're going for it we're gonna have the zenobia yss it's gonna be a good garrison for kvk let's go ahead and uh unlock his final skill and uh let's finish him off we're gonna do it this is the big these are the big skills here the last four skills are the ones that are just absolutely insanely expensive so let's go ahead add them again Oof, we're getting there we are getting down to the wire 160 more to go we are getting there boom upgrade and we have one more it's this doesn't happen every day boys and girls this doesn't happen every day confirm and there it is we have expertise isun sin and boom we are a little bit late to the party we are a little bit late to the party it was never my intention to have a garrison uh pairing but here we are when troops led by this commander consist of two more different unit types they gain 20 percent increased attack and 20 percent increased defense there it is boys and girls we have expertise isun sin we have a role we have a role to play we are going to be garrison captain there it is ladies and gentlemen uh we should have pretty solid gear for our zenobia pretty much everything on here is going to move over to zenobia and uh we're probably going to keep the special talented sakura fubuki on zenobia as well instead of the shield but pretty much everything else is going to be uh is going to be good for her so i think we've got a really solid garrison pairing with zenobia isun sin We've got many sculptures left over. We are looking really close at, at this Saladin, man. Let's go over to the wheel. This is a long video, boys and girls. This is a long video. We're going to go ahead and spin. We're going to unlock Chook, and then we're going to start, and we're going to switch over and start spinning for William. That's the play. That's the plan. Uh, we just, I want to unlock him, right? And, and then uh, we'll be good. So let's do that free spin. This is this boys and girls this is a celebration and we start with the garbage we start with the bad stuff um but this is a celebration of a thousand days in rise of kingdoms to everyone who's been here along with the journey cheers to you uh let's go ahead and do a five spin let's see what we get here and there's our first sculpture of chuk or chiok i don't know how you pronounce it i'm sorry if i've been butchering it and we get three right off the rip baby can we get four? Oof! i thought we were gonna get the eight spot just get the eight spot Ooh, baby okay so we got uh okay game is lagging we got four of him right there let's do another five spin right let's do another five spin because that we're pretty much guaranteed to get him right i think no maybe not maybe not maybe i spoke too soon we got to get at least one of him right here and then uh oh no okay okay oh i think we're good right i think that's enough to summon him let's go ahead and claim that five uh, spin reward and bada bing bada boom can we summon chook we can ladies and gentlemen there he is the korean minister protector a new legendary in the books let's go ahead and buy this bundle shall we and the addiction continues ladies and gentlemen the addiction continues uh he might be meta right he might be meta so this might be the next thing i invest in i'm not really sure we're gonna have to wait and see we'll wait for the battle testing but uh yeah it's always exciting when we get new infantry commanders in the game especially when you're clearly an infantry player just like me let's go ahead and switch this over to william because again i'm probably going to be investing in a saladin william combo before anything else so we might as well spin for william while he's here uh he's a commander that's excellent no matter pretty much what you're investing in whether you're infantry cavalry archers whatever william behind a saladin is absolutely insane a really great support march that's also a bit tanky uh great in sunset canyon uh we're getting some universals over here and it looks like blue stocks is is lagging for us boys and girls it is lagging that's okay we're spinning the wheel nothing crazy is going on I'd rather have some lag here than when kvk begins which you already we like we already know what's going on man we're gonna get some we're gonna get some big time lag but it is what it is we're spinning this wheel we're getting some nice value with these universals and this is sort of repre replenishing the universals that we just spent on uh yss so we're spinning it five more times we're gonna finish out today's chances uh, but again, guys, I just want to take this time to thank you for the amount of support that I've gotten on this YouTube channel since I've sort of joined the Rise of Kingdoms content community. Uh, people have been nothing but supportive for the most part. Uh, and obviously, there's always people who leave negative comments. No matter who you are, it's going to happen, right? It's going to happen. And it's happened to me. But it, it, there's more support than negativity uh, for sure. So 
thank you guys again if you've ever watched one of my videos if you've ever you know subscribed to my channel or whatever the case is i really 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 genuinely appreciate it we are coming up close on 20,000 subscribers which is absolutely insane um you know it's always been my sort of dream to oh i thought we were gonna hit that eight spot baby it's always been my dream to be a, a content creator right i i i been making content for years and um you can go back all my content is archived you can see it it's still up all of it uh on this youtube channel and a lot of it is really cringe and probably terrible but that's sort of my journey right that's that's the transparency behind this and maybe one day in a few years i'm gonna get canceled for something stupid that i said in a random video that has 40 views that i posted five years ago who knows right who knows and now you guys are probably gonna go ahead and look and see if i had said something dumb and i promise you i did i probably said something really stupid while we're getting sentimental here for a moment okay if you're what if you're this far in the video you're a real one you're you are a real one and i seriously look at me i'm talking to you the one that's this far into the video shout out to you man cheers we're just cracking a cold one with just the just the real ones are gonna make it this far so this cold one is for the real boys the real true supporters of this channel i cannot thank you enough thank you so much yep not everybody got that cheers a lot of the fake supporters clicked off the video a bunch of minutes ago uh, i know from the data okay but the real ones are getting that cheers right there and you deserve it you deserve it i can't thank you enough we're spinning baby we're spinning now another question that you might have is how long are you gonna play rise of kingdoms on the arc like you're a thousand days in clearly you got to be tired of the game by now right and uh you know the thing about rise of kingdoms is the developers do a great job at implementing new content and new commanders and there's always something new to be excited about and you know i'm not gonna lie there are some weeks where you know i just play the game passively and i just do my dailies and i'm not that interested and you know maybe i'll make a video about something and it is what it is and and, and i just go about my day right i have a full-time job outside of here so outside of youtube so you know it's just something that i <clears throat> sort of do in my in my off time um but i can see me playing rise of kingdoms for a while i will be here probably close to the end of this game and i do think just between you and me that rise of kingdoms is past the halfway mark that's my opinion i think that you know the game is it you know it's, it's a couple years old now right so uh, again i think we're past the halfway mark in terms of rise of kingdoms realistic longevity unless you know the, the developers can uh you know refresh the servers and sort of you know make a make it like a rise of kingdoms 2.0 right if you've played other uh games not necessarily in this genre but like mmos world of warcraft for example there was cataclysm it restructured the entire game uh i don't think that's that is typical with mobile games right usually they, game developers just ride it till it's dead uh, and it is what it is so i think that's probably what lilith is going to do but i'm probably going to be playing rise of kingdoms pretty close until the very end unless lilith really does something really dumb right really dumb so let's go ahead and see can we put a skill we can't even put a skill on william we've been spinning these wheels we've got those skills up we're getting close uh we've got 159 universals so we're definitely getting there um it's exciting the amount of progress that we made in just this video alone we've got two brand new accessories my first ever legendary accessory uh, no special talent unfortunately but with the upcoming equipment update um we will be able to start making progress at least which is always exciting ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we are in the final hour of my 1000th day in rise of kingdoms uh, if you've made it all the way to the end of this video seriously thank you so much cheers i really do appreciate it while you're here drop a thumbs up on the video it helps the channel a ton i don't just say that i really mean that it really does tell youtube that this is a video that other rise of kingdoms players might be interested in so click that thumbs up button of course if you want to help me hit 20,000 subscribers subscribe down below and click the bell if you want to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kings video as always my social media links are in the description so make sure you follow me over on instagram facebook twitter discord all that stuff it's always down below as well as a link to download rise of kingdoms absolutely for free for your pc that's how i've been playing rise of kingdoms for a majority of my time i do love the program blue Sacks, and when you download with my link it supports the channel for free and of course if you don't like the the program you can always uninstall it later uh, so go ahead and give it a try link is in the description comment down below what you think about my 1000 day journey i would love to hear from you guys down there and thank you if you've been a part of this journey with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace